In this video, we are going to talk about when tornadoes dance together. Tornado families explained one, a twisted ballet in the sky. There's something uniquely terrifying about a single tornado tearing through the land. The spiraling winds, the low rumble of thunder, the sky turning shades of green and gray. But imagine not just one, but multiple tornadoes, forming, spinning, and wreaking havoc, one after the other, in a strange choreographed fury. This terrifying sequence of events is known as a tornado family. A series of tornadoes spawned by the same supercell thunderstorm, often occurring along a continuous or semi-continuous path. Together, these twisters appear to dance across the landscape, each one replacing the last, leaving behind a trail of devastation and mystery. Two, what exactly is a tornado family? A tornado family is a group of two or more separate tornadoes produced by a single supercell, a powerful rotating thunderstorm with a well-organized structure. Unlike a single long-track tornado, a tornado family consists of individual tornadoes that form one after the other. As one tornado lifts, another touches down, sometimes within minutes and just a few miles apart. In some cases, these tornadoes overlap causing confusion in damage surveys and historical records. Tornado families can span tens to hundreds of miles, and in extreme cases, their paths appear almost continuous, making them difficult to distinguish from a single massive twister. Three, how do tornado families form? At the heart of most tornado families lies a supercell thunderstorm, which features a rotating updraft called a mesocyclone. This rotation provides the ideal environment for tornado development. As the supercell matures and evolves, the tornado associated with it may weaken or dissipate. However, if conditions remain favorable, a new tornado may form, often near the same area as the previous one. This process, called cyclic tornado genesis, can repeat several times, producing a sequence of tornadoes over a few hours. Each tornado in the family is typically spawned as the storm's rear flank downdraft reorganizes, allowing the mesocyclone to tighten again and spin up another vortex. The confusion with long track tornadoes. Historically, many tornado families were misclassified as single long track tornadoes, especially before the advent of modern radar and storm chasing technology. When damage surveys showed a long swath of destruction, it was often assumed to be the result of one continuous tornado. However, as meteorologists began analyzing radar data and eyewitness reports more closely, they discovered that these tracks were sometimes the result of multiple tornadoes, not just one. Today, using Doppler radar, satellite imagery, and field investigations, scientists can differentiate between overlapping tornado paths and classify events more accurately revealing tornado families that might otherwise have been misunderstood. Fifth, tornado families versus multi-vortex tornadoes. It's important to distinguish tornado families from multi-vortex tornadoes, another awe-inspiring phenomenon. A multi-vortex tornado is a single tornado with multiple smaller sub-vortices rotating inside it, like arms spinning within a larger whirl. These vortices can cause uneven damage and create the illusion of multiple tornadoes, but they are all part of the same parent circulation. In contrast, a tornado family involves distinct, separate tornadoes, each with its own life cycle, formation, and dissipation. While both are dramatic and dangerous, the difference lies in structure, duration, and formation mechanics. Six, historical tornado families that shook the world. One of the most infamous tornado families in recorded history occurred during the tri-state tornado outbreak of March 18, 1925, which affected Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana. While this event was long thought to be caused by a single tornado with a track of 219 miles, modern meteorological studies suggest it was likely a tornado family, multiple tornadoes forming in rapid succession from the same storm. Similarly, the super outbreak of April 3rd through 4th, 1974, and the April 27th, 2011 outbreak, known as the 2011 super outbreak, featured numerous tornado families. In the 2011 event alone, over 360 tornadoes were recorded, 
many of which were part of extended tornado families spawned by long-lived supercells. 7. The Science of Damage Paths Meteorologists use damage surveys and aerial photography to distinguish tornado families. When inspecting a damage path, experts look for gaps or variations in intensity that suggest one tornado dissipated before another formed. For example, a continuous path with a short break or a slight change in direction may indicate two separate tornadoes. Additionally, different levels of destruction along the track, from EF1 to EF4 or EF5, can provide clues about whether the damage was caused by a single, strengthening storm or multiple vortices forming at different intensities. Advances in radar and drone imaging have made this analysis much more precise in recent years. 8. Life in the Path of Tornado Families' communities caught in the path of a tornado family often endure extended periods of fear and uncertainty. Unlike a single tornado that lasts a few minutes, a tornado family can affect a region for an hour or more, with multiple touchdowns keeping residents on edge. Warning sirens may sound repeatedly as new vortices form, and emergency response becomes complicated by the widespread, staggered damage. For survivors, the psychological toll can be immense. Not only do they face physical destruction, but also the emotional trauma of surviving one tornado only to encounter another shortly afterward. 9. Tornado Families and Emergency Response Tornado families pose significant challenges for emergency services. First responders often mobilize after the initial tornado has passed, only to be caught off guard by a second or third tornado from the same storm system. The unpredictable nature of cyclic tornado formation means that standard warning systems must be constantly updated in real time. During major outbreaks, communication lines, power grids, and roads are often damaged, slowing down rescue and recovery. Coordinating relief across such large and staggered damage zones requires extensive planning, flexibility, and rapid response mechanisms. The 2011 super outbreak exposed both the strengths and weaknesses of modern tornado emergency infrastructure. 10. Are tornado families increasing? While tornado families have been documented for over a century, some scientists speculate that climate change may influence their frequency. Warmer temperatures and increased atmospheric moisture provide more energy for supercells to form and persist. Though data remains inconclusive, there is a growing concern that more long-lived supercells could result in more tornado families. Research into this area is ongoing, as meteorologists work to identify trends in storm behavior in an era of rising global temperatures. What is clear is that better detection, tracking, and public awareness have led to more accurate identification of tornado families than ever before. 11. Tornado Chasers and Families on the Move For storm chasers and weather scientists, tornado families represent both a thrilling and daunting target. Chasers must stay alert not just for one tornado, but for a series of them, each potentially forming in a different direction or position along the storm's path. Capturing a tornado family on film requires stamina, precision, and sometimes luck. For scientists, these events offer valuable data on tornado genesis, wind dynamics, and storm cycling. Many famous tornado videos and documentaries, including those featured in National Geographic and Discovery Channel, showcase tornado families in action, revealing the raw power and eerie beauty of these swirling columns of wind. Twelfth, myths and misconceptions. Tornado families often feed into myths and misunderstandings, some believe that once a tornado passes, the danger is over. But in a tornado family, a calm moment may only be the eye of the storm cycle. Others mistake the separate tornadoes for one monster tornado, especially when paths are close together. This misconception can be dangerous, as people may not seek shelter again, thinking the threat has ended. Public education campaigns are essential to correct these beliefs, ensuring people understand that multiple tornadoes can form from a single storm system and may strike within minutes of each other. I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for future updates. See you in the next video.